What's up guys, Andre here, and it's a moment you've all been waiting for, because we're finally going to unbox a Switch, as well as all the other crap we got with it, and there was a lot of stuff to get through, uh, which you may have seen if you watched our previous unboxing of the unboxing. But this time, it's going to get real, because we're actually going to open the boxes themselves. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it until the embargo lifted, so we're going to do it right now, and I haven't opened it up, I haven't opened it myself at all yet. I have not seen uh, how they, you know, how they packaged it and everything else, so it's going to be a surprise for, uh, for you and me. So let's go and get started here, so we'll open up the tab. Pull it out. I'm gonna narrate every step, of course. And there it is. Look at it. Look at it. We got the two Joy Cons, the Switch itself, the screen. So let's take a close up look at these real quick. Um, everything is individually packaged nicely. So there, this is the you know the course as I just mentioned, the screen itself, and it's actually it's not that heavy, but it's also kind of surprisingly heavy just by itself. Because the Joy Cons I think weigh like comparatively nothing. So there it is. I'm so afraid of dropping this now. There is a back look, my fingerprints are all over it already. Um, luckily, they're going away. So, it is a matte back, so fingerprints shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, on the front, they may be. Um, there is the inside of the where the Joy-Cons go. And bottom. Alright. Uh, next up are the Joy-Cons itself. Man, I want to be so careful here. Alright, here's the right Joy-Con. There's the top of it, bottom, the IR camera thing, and here is the left Joy-Con, which amazingly looks remarkably similar to the right one, just a mirror image basically, except, uh, and the Joy-Con or the control stick is reversed from the buttons. Um, there is no IR camera on this one, as you can see. Here is the inside, there are the shoulder buttons right there, when you're holding it, like this. Yeah, and these are, these actually are quite light, so here are both of them. All right, so should we go and connect it? I think we should, right? Uh, again, I gotta be super careful here. I'm so terrible I'm gonna drop something. All right, this way, there we go. All right, we're gonna slide it in. All right, listening. There we go, there's one. Let's get the left one on there. Yep, that's it. So to release them, there are these two buttons on the back. So we'll go ahead and uh, click those in. Well, actually, we'll do it. Actually, I guess I can do it in this angle. Click it in. There we go. Slides right out. We'll do the left one too. It looks a little bit more awkward on the camera than it actually is because I'm trying to look at myself in the viewfinder while <laughs> handling this. It is tough. So, anyways, there is a switch. We'll take a look at its full connected form. Yeah, here is the back. It is pretty sleek looking, gotta admit. Here's the uh, kickstand. Let's go ahead and kick that out, if I can figure out how. Shouldn't be that complicated to kickstand, right? There we go. All right, I don't know how far. All right, that feels like something that could break off pretty easily. Um, so you will want to be careful with it. There we go. We'll take a closer up look at that later, but uh, there is the kickstand. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be really careful with that. And, oh, there, and there is a micro SD card slot. So um, that's a USB-C slot, of course. Here are, well, I'm guessing are, are those the speakers? No, these are the speakers. Um, these are probably just for airflow. All right, so uh, yeah, there are the volume controls up on top. Another airflow vent. And here are where the games go, which we'll show off soon as Zelda. Yeah, all right. Anyways, that's enough about the Switch for now, or about the Switch itself. Again, you gotta be so careful with this. So paranoid. All right, we'll take a look at everything else that comes inside the box. So we'll get rid of this. Nothing else there. Uh, well, this has to be. Oh no, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it might be the dock. This is, of course, the Joy-Con grip. So we'll take a closer look at this. This is actually pretty comfy. I, I'm already like. It reminds me of an old grip I had for the Game Boy Color that would go into the battery case. So now I need to grab the Joy Cons again off of the Switch. So let's do that real quick. I should have kept them on, uh, unswitched, I guess, undocked. Again, this is, I'm making this look way more awkward than it is. All right, and we're gonna slip these in here. Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. All right. Can I get this? There we go. There's the right one, and the left one. 
See, I got way better on cycle one. There we go. So this feels pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna need some more game time with it beyond the preview event I've already done uh, in January. But this feels pretty good. Um, I will say the the travel distance on the control sticks. I mentioned this before. Isn't that long? So the pro controller is going to be better in that respect, which we'll be taking a look at soon. But yeah, not a bad way to play. All right, moving on. We have an HDMI cable. Exciting, right? So, there it is. And I keep hitting the stupid tripod. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Here is the power cable. If I can... Where's the opening? There we go. Going the wrong way. So, it unfortunately is a wall wart type one. So, um, luckily it looks like that might be close enough to the top that it won't take up two slots to put at the bottom one. I'm not entirely sure on that. It says Nintendo on it. Um, that's about it. It's a power supply. What, what more do you want? Um, I mean, except for, for not to be a wall wart variety, but... Here are the... Oh, God, I need to take the Joy-Cons off again. Here are the, uh, wrist traps for it, and... They also add this little extra part that goes on the side of the Joy-Con, um... To, uh... Make it easier to hold and press those buttons. So, let's go and try to put one of these on real quick. So... Here we go. Perfect fit. And as you can see, the shoulder buttons are actually much easier to press now with the uh, with the wrist strap on. So, yeah. All right, moving on. We have the instruction manual. Not terribly exciting. And then we have the dock itself. And this thing is pretty hefty. I can already tell. The hefty. So there it is. It says Nintendo Switch on the front. Here is the back. Uh, I'm guessing that's where the power cord goes. Does this looks like this flips open too? Yes, it does. So AC adapter, USB, and HDMI out. So it's a three-in-one thing. Um, and here is the inside if you're so interested. Two USBs on this side, inside again, and bottom. So yeah, all right. So that is everything inside the switch box itself. So there you go, you can see everything inside the box right here, except for the cardboard and crap. Alright, so let's go and clear this out of the way, and we're going to start unboxing some more stuff. Alright, so we're going to start unboxing everything else, and we're going to start with a Pro Controller right here. Um, I haven't opened any of this yet, except I did pre-slice the tape on the side, just to make it a little bit easier and less awkward on camera. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of awkward moments, I'm sure, still, but just thought less now. Alright. And here it is, and wow, the thing has some heft to it. This is much heavier than the uh, Wii U Pro Controller, as from my memory. Um, yeah, there it is. Has a switch on it. Looks looks pretty similar to the Wii U one, actually. Um, here is a little cover we'll take off so you get a better look at it. Yeah, so it definitely has some heft. Um, I actually don't mind that. I tend to like... I prefer a heavier controller than one that feels hollow. And this one definitely does not feel hollow. Um, of course, it has motion sensors built in, as well as rumble, so that's probably why. HD rumble, even. Um, yeah. And what else is in here? It looks like a charging cable for it. A USB cable. I think that... Oh, USB-C, which makes sense. Like the Switch. All right. Moving on, we'll do the Joy-Con uh, charging grip. I keep calling it the wrong thing, so... Gripcon char... or Joy-Con... Grip charge. I don't know. I just switch the names around, whatever. Come on. There we go. And here it is. Looks pretty similar to the uh, to the actual grip. Let's bring that one in here. So normal grip, charging grip. Normal grip, charging grip. Uh, yeah, this one has. Actually, let's see it. This one's more transparent, I guess. Or is transparent. So that's the key distinction from the visual standpoint. But that is a battery. Yeah, this this one's definitely heavier. So you can definitely feel the battery. Okay. Um, here is a charging cable for the charging grip. Alright, so moving on. Let's see. Let's do the... Uh, I guess we'll do this next. We'll do the... Um, Switch carrying case and screen protector. So we're not, we're actually not going to apply the screen protector though because I'm not a big believer in screen protectors. I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll come around. But I hate them on my phone. My phone's made this long. And plus, that's what the uh, case is for, right? I shouldn't need. It. Man, that tripod is going to be the end of me. 
Alright. I shouldn't need a screen protector with the case. So, there it is. Um, yeah, I'm guessing you peel off of that thing inside. Um, dude, I'm guessing the screen protector itself isn't blue. <laughs> and then, uh, here is the case. Alright, and yeah. It feels, it feels pretty good. Um, definitely, yeah, it's strong. I'm not bending it too hard. I definitely could bend it. But it's strong enough that uh, it won't bend easily. Uh, so, let's open it up. There it is. So let's go try putting the, uh, the switch in here, right? What do you say? Let's see, how does this, this work? Does the switch go in the bottom, I'm guessing? Alright. Yeah, that looks right. And then uh, I guess you can put the games in here. So speaking of which, I guess we should open a game. Or should I say, speaking of Switch... So I already uh, pre-sliced this too. Wow! <laughs> Look how small that is! Look at that! That's ridiculous! It's so small! It's so small! Alright, well now we have to put this inside the Switch first. Actually, no, we should do this first. We already have everything lined up. And maybe I should... Should that be turned around? I don't know. Yeah, that feels more right, I think. So, there we go! Look, you got... Look how, look how all that room for games you have! Um... Yeah! Alright, now let's go try putting it... Here, we'll... We'll, we'll close it, too. We'll complete the, uh, the case transformation. There we go! Yeah! I like it! Can't fully judge yet, but it seems like that will be a fine case. If I can open, if I can get back open. Alright. So now let's try putting uh, Zelda in to the Switch itself. Alright, so there is the game card slot. Pop that open. And then, I'm guessing this goes that way, yeah. Click it in, and bam! There we go. And that about wraps up for our unboxing of the Switch. But make sure to stay tuned, because we'll be unboxing all the amiibo that came with it very soon, including all the Zelda Breath of the Wild amiibo. Um, plus, we'll be of course showing off everything about the Switch itself. In fact, those videos are probably up already now. So make sure to go check those out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for lots more on the Switch and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye.